What's up, you guys? Today we're going to be talking about Google VR. Stick around. Alright, this is the first Google VR headset that I have. <laughs> You're right, it doesn't look very expensive. This one is called the Google Cardboard. Okay, Google Cardboard. And this wasn't meant to be <laughs> an expensive device, I don't think. Let's try to pop it open so you guys can see what the inside looks like. You can see inside of it, there is a set of instructions. Okay, it shows you how to put the phone inside of it. It also, I guess, came with uh, some visor things to go with it. Um, yeah, looks like visors. Um, then you put your phone inside, then you Velcro it in. <laughs> there is an app that you download with this one. I'm pretty sure if you scan the barcode there, it'll come up. Or you can just search for the app in the, the Play Store. Anyway, that's the first device that I know about. I didn't buy this brand new, obviously. You guys know I didn't. I found this at a thrift store. Um, it's not in horrible condition. It is good, bent up a little bit, but I did want to have this for my collection. Then here, we have the second Google VR device. This one, you can see there that it has the little Google marking on the side. This one is called the Google Daydream. I do know that this one comes in different colors. I'm not sure exactly how many different colors, but gray is not the only option on this one. And if you look on the back here, there's an adjustable strap. This is actually pretty comfortable. I've tried it out myself. One thing that I didn't like about this one is that the lenses, they don't adjust like other headsets do, okay? They're just stationary, they stay put. Um, so if you're not focused directly uh, on your screen with this one, it's kind of a pain, okay? But it is super comfortable. And after a while, your eyes do adjust to it. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that is a downside to this one. Now, there is, however, most, headset, most headsets do not come with this. There is a remote, okay? This is a Bluetooth remote that syncs up with the app when you download the app. Now, there is only certain devices that will work with this thing. I know for certain that the Google Pixels 1, 2, and I think 3 are pre-set up to run with the Google Daydream. I know some Samsung phones are also set up to run with this, but not many other phones, not many other devices will actually work with this so if you do plan on picking one of these up make sure you look at the device list that is capable of working properly with this thing um let's get a look inside of it you guys can see inside of there you can see that the lenses are stationary <laughs> i do like that it's got a little holder for the controller that is kind of nice there's little rubber buttons here to keep your phone in place from falling out so if you're moving around which is kind of nice as well as on the other side there uh, and it's got this little strap here this elastic strap to help keep it in place um, I did notice that the app when you download the app it reduces the size of the image so if you have a bigger phone or a smaller phone the image fits inside of there so the rest of your screen will be blank, which is kind of cool that it adjusts to the size of your phone. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, here's the two devices side by side. You can see they're very comparable in size. I do think some of these ones come with a head strap. If not, you could easily glue in your own head strap onto that. I'm going to leave mine alone because I like it all the way it is. Um, the Google Daydream. I do know that this one was discontinued and they are no longer getting support from Google for this one. Or I don't think they're getting any support in the app store as well. 
So I wouldn't expect this one, the app for this one, to work much longer. And if the app isn't going to be updated, that probably is going to mean that the remote isn't going to work much longer. But it's still a pretty cool device to have. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to try on the Google Daydream so you guys can see what it looks like. It actually looks pretty nice. Super comfortable. <laughs> um, I don't know if I've worn any other VR devices that are this comfortable, but it is super comfortable because it's all made of like uh, material rather than plastic. And it's just super comfortable. Anyway, you guys can see. Turn my head a little bit. And that's what it looks like. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you guys liked it, you want to see more videos like this, please like, uh, comment, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you know anybody interested in this kind of stuff, please share the uh, video with them. It always helps my channel grow. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you guys next time.